But I don't want to go to the doctor's office. Snack? I'm not interrupting you, am I? No? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. No, stop. Don't come any closer. Thank you. Kickity kick kick. Or not. Oh, a health drink. Ah, oh, give me the health drink. I need it. Thank you. I like how the health drink has a skull and crossbones on it. is just a bunch of uh, bullshit. Um, got some new viewers. We got Mason42. It's the only service provider we have down here. And we had Sash Squad. Oh no, that's terrible. Left before I said his name. Oh my gosh, what the hell is that? There is a plate of queen. Take it. Machines. You could go up to them and they wouldn't do anything. But now you can go up to the vending machines here and you get health drink. Health drink. Health drink. Health drink. No, I stopped at three. I actually, I, um, it's actually possible to edit the, the item spawn there, so it just gives you infinite health drinks. Uh, it's not worth it though, because it takes some ammo. Time to go down. several friends live stream it and I watch one of my favorite youtubers play it and it it definitely looks uh, very pretty it's very good I still need to finish, uh, doing it. the the attention to detail that was in older Silent Hill games is definitely back if that demos any indication aha I felt, oh no. I felt the jump scare for a level of shape. But it was pretty good. Oh no, nurses are giving me hugs. Stop giving me hugs. Are they lower body hugs? No. What the hell? Well, okay. Better not die. That'd be the first death. I didn't die. They weren't doing enough damage. Oddly enough. Oh, hey, I just found an amp hole. Cool, I'm gonna save that forever. <laughs> yeah, basically. What the? Uh, hey, are we gonna seriously do the entire game tonight? Uh, I'm gonna try to. Um, when you get to the final boss, you should just stand there and waste all your ammo. Gen 
generator room. Uh, it's important too, since I'm the Resident Evil guy, I will uh, answer your question of whether or not we think there's help for Resident Evil 7 to return to its roots. Uh, that honestly depends. Um, Capcom has very, very, very odd business and marketing strategies lately for some things. Um, one thing that was just outright stupid was um, cancellation of Batman Legends 3, you know, those years back shows a, a very poor uh, business sense. So it honestly depends on who's in charge at Capcom at the moment and how they feel. Cause so, cause they can they can either put um, a, like a really nice team, give them a lot of resources, and make it a great game. Or they could do the same thing they did with uh, Resident Evil 5 and 6 and give them a mediocre team and some half competent riders and make dog shit. It, 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 it depends on a lot of stuff. Um, I'm cautiously optimistic, but it's just, we haven't seen enough of Resident Evil 7 to really make a uh, Clear judgment. Got a new viewer, XX, um, exact shutter XX. Yeah, closing really depends on whether or not Capcom wants to be a bunch of fucking assholes. of that game, because right now I'm live streaming the original Silent Hill to completion. Sweet! Mason42 says, so much Nintendo in some ways on the way Capcom operates. Capcom definitely made the mistake of letting Seth and Keelan go. Okay, yeah, but the thing about Nintendo is that their shitty teams are still, are, are still um, incredibly talented. So, even if they're like we don't care. Just make that guy do it. Then the product still comes out with a fairly decent amount of quality. Like, I always love Nintendo Mario games. If, if, like, Mario Galaxy, though. Like, I'm picky about Mario games, though. Like, uh, 3D, 3D Land? Love 3D Land. Love Mario Galaxy. It's just when they, like, when they release something that's called Super new Super Mario Brothers, more coins. Collect all these coins, kids. Like that was just I was no, okay no. Yeah, and that letting Seth Killian go was pretty stupid too. Seth, oh yeah, I had Seth Killian on my Twitter. He talked about um how he would really like he he really wanted to see more um Mario and Zelda villains be playable. Like he like like I talked to him about it once. And I was like, I always thought it'd be cool to have a Mario game where you played as Bowser. And he was yeah, like, man, like, I would uh, love that. Like in the Paper Mario games where you had sectors where you were just Bowser doing oh. Bowser shit. It was so cool, but I mean, like, he never, he, he always thought it'd be an awesome idea. And then when the idea came out that, you know, why isn't all of these, why isn't there a Mario Kart Smash Brothers? He was all up on that on his Twitter. He just started posting crap about that 24-7. Got a few new viewers. We got John M T W ninety four and Nero nine seven eight Devil. 
Okay, oh, okay this this current puzzle that I'm on, the puzzle involves the plates that I've been collecting, and you have to insert them into the square indentions on this door, and the colors have to match up with the colors corresponding to the order they were in on the eight lines of that poem we read earlier. Also, one member I forgot, Genesis 6. Oh, oh no. Oh yeah, um... Hugs again. I don't like it. My first console was a Atari. My first console was my first console was the PS one. Mine was a uh, sixty-four. No, 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 no. I had a Super Nintendo first. I actually I skipped the original Nintendo Entertainment System because you could not get one where I live. Goddamn impossible. So we My parents just couldn't afford one, so he bumped it off my grandparent who was rich. Yay! Uh, so then we got the, then we got the Super Nintendo, and then I got an SD4 for my uncle who was a police chief in LA, which is like one of the most dangerous places to be a cop. Yeah, my my first was the PS2 because my parents did not want me to play video games. There it is, is a. Home. There is a basement storeroom key. Take it. And then, then I got the PS1 where my dad accidentally ordered the wrong version of a video game. He was like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I got some new users, GT Geek and Small17. And then, uh, when my sister was in college, I don't know how old I was, but we, um, we went to visit her and it was like, and my mom was like, hey, you want to get a PS2? And I just said yes. And I didn't yes. have to buy it. Uh, and then we went and we got it. Costco got us some games for it. And then we went to my uh, sister's dorm room. And then we played Kingdom Hearts all fucking day. Oh my gosh, dude. <coughs> you guys want to hear my first time playing Kingdom Hearts? It's a sad story. You'll probably cry. Why is it sad? Because. Listen to this cool crap that my brother played on me. Alright. So we're at Walmart, and I'm just walking around the game section because when I got my Nintendo 64, I got Banjo and Kazooie, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, this game is so awesome!" And that 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 got me into other games, but what got really got me into games was Sly Cooper, and I was just like, "Oh my god, it's like playing a cartoon!" So I love cartoons. That's the thing. I love cartoon characters being in video games. So uh, naturally, a little kid like me seeing an anime character and a cartoon character on a game case, I'm like, what? Wow! Donald Duck is on this cover! And she's like, oh wow, that looks cool. You have a PS2, why don't you get it? And I was like, I'm getting it right now. And so I grabbed it, got it, we brought it home, started playing it. No Disney characters at all, I'm a little disappointed, but the gameplay is what got me into it for a little while. And then out of nowhere comes these Disney Characters. And I'm just like, oh. and so I'm freaking out as a little kid. I'm getting to all the, and then I found out you can go to these Disney levels. I'm, I go to Tarzan, and then I get bored of Tarzan, so I go to Alice in Wonderland, and I start playing around Alice in Wonderland's place. And then my brother's like, oh man, it looks so cool. Hey, there's a Final Fantasy character and whatever. So after getting so far into this, my brother asks, hey Steven, can I can I borrow this and go take it to my friend's house? And it's already my bedtime anyway, so I'm like, yeah, sure. So I give it to him. He doesn't take the case. We lost the case. I was terrible with cases. Could not find the case anywhere in that house. Give the disc to him. He puts the thing in his pocket. Walks out the door to his friend's house. The next day when I wake up, he comes into my room and says, Hey, hey, hey bub. Um, so I broke your game. And I'm like... Almost about to cry 